here then we have our entry level unit which is the Fanjet Pro. So this machine has single twin lined spinning disc in underneath our spreader plate. Um, I suppose look it's a very well built machine. You have the lights of your twin actuators for the opening and closing of the shutters. You'd see a lot of machines with a single actuator and you'd see they'd get jammed over time or with different size seeds. So with this machine, the seed, there's a, an agitator inside in the hopper which pulls the seed directly down onto the spinning disc so it's not metered, it's gravity fed down onto the spinning disc. Um, I suppose predominantly used for the lights of slug pellet application up to 24 meters for spreading grass seed on the lights of a grass harrow and so on. Uh, this machine, I suppose, this is our 65 litre hopper. We can get this in a 130 litre hopper as well. So again, twice, twice this size. And as an add-on, you can also buy your spreader plate. So this plate, from there to there, bolts onto the machine. It's an add-on. Again, it's more so used for the lights of grass seed or, or stitching in grass on the lights of a grass harrow. And the benefit of it, you adjust your width so there's two fins underneath there which adjust the width of the application and it deflects the seed directly down onto the ground. So again, a very well built machine. The prices are very competitive on them um, and you have the, the option to add on the light to this down the road. So here behind me, I suppose we have the Fanjet Duo. So this machine is predominantly used for slug pellet application on the lights of your self-propelled sprayer. Um, so I suppose the benefit of this over the lights of your Fanjet Pro. Your Fanjet Pro is a single machine, one spinning disc, and will spread up to 24 meters. This machine will go up to 36 meters in width, product depending. Um, so you can see this is a 65 liter hopper. Seed is metered down onto your disc, and both machines are working in conjunction with each other, working basically in opposite directions. You can also get this in a 130 liter hopper, so twice that size. Um, Control wise then there's the TM controller which is a colour touch screen or you have your standard VS2 controller. So here then we have our Fanjet Plus machine. So this will be similar to our entry level Fanjet Pro. Um, I suppose this is the 130 litre hopper. This can also be gotten at 65 litre. But the difference with this machine versus our entry level um, is the seed is metered down through rollers onto your disc. So it is again a twin line spinning disc seeder uh, or broadcast seeder but the seed is metered coming down where you'll need the lights of this over our fanjet pro is for the lights of cover crop application when you have different size seeds it's more accurate to meter the seed down onto the down onto the disc rather than gravity fit so this machine again will do up to 24 meters anything over 24 meters for slug pellet application you would have to go down the route of your fanjet duo um, again controllers can be got in the lights of your vs2 uh, your jack all or your icon. Here we have our rotor jet. So again our rotor jet would have similar functionalities to our turbo jet but built for smaller machines. So this machine it's pneumatic, it's electrically driven, you have an electronic fan, you have three outlets which split into six which are Y pieces. Those, you can get this machine in a four outlet also which will split into eight and this is for anything up to well, this particular machine is anything up to a three meter wide implement or the four outlet would be a four meter wide implement. So again, hopper size comes in 65 litre or 130 litre. Uh, controller wise, you have either your VS2, your Jackal or your Icon, so similar to the other machines. Um, but I suppose for precise application on the lights of a three meter power harrow, if you're reseeding grass seed, this would be the machine to go for. So moving on here then we have our turbojet jackal. So I suppose this machine, the turbojet machine, comes in three different standards. There's your turbojet VS2, your turbojet jackal and your turbojet icon. And the only difference between the VS2 jackal and icon is the control box you're getting with it and there's a couple of different features also. So the jackal controller, it's a four inch touch or four inch coloured screen which you're putting inside in the cab. Um, makes it a lot easier for calibrating the seed, for adjusting seed rate and um, based off forward speed in the tractor. So the Turbojet 8, this machine will do up to 8 metres in working width. So you can see, you can see your outlets here. Um, you have your 8 outlets, they split into 16 pipes. So you get Y pieces which will move on to another seeder there and we can show you. Um, 
I suppose this machine comes new, standard with your 240 litre hopper. You can upgrade to a 400 litre hopper. So again, a lot bigger. So up to eight meters and working with really anything from four to eight meters. And moving on then, sticking with the same range would be the Turbojet, uh, Turbojet tin icon. So similar machine, but this has the 400 litre hopper. There's 10 outlets here which split into 20 spreader plates. So you can see there are the white pieces which split into 20 spreader plates then along the back of the machine. Um, again, this machine is an icon, so you get your own color screen inside in the cab and a GPS antenna on the roof so that the receiver is able to tell the forward speed of the tractor and adjust the rate accordingly. So we're here now with Tim Farrow, Technical Director in Stocks Ag. So Tim might give us a quick run through on our three different um, control boxes and our different meter and rollers. So Tim, you might. Thank you. Um, we have three main ranges of controller. We have the simple switches and dials, we have the mid-range jackal, and we have the uh, top of the range icon. The, uh, the basic conventional control box we have here is simple switches and dials. Um, very simple, very easy to use. In the middle we have the jackal, which is the next stage up, has a uh, rate controlled, um, adjusted by the forward speed, um, very easy calibration, and then the next range up from that would be the full colour touchscreen icon, which comes with its own GPS receiver, and uh, has um, displays given to you of the uh, rates on the move, and it also gives you an uh, indication of your minimum maximum forward speed. And with the lights of the Jackal controller, that plugs into the DIN plugged in the yes. it to get it. So it's in its basic format. It has a seven-pin implement socket. So from that, it can obtain a on-off signal for the linkage to turn the machine on and off, and it can also take a speed reading from the tractor's radar or from the gearbox output speed sensor. You can add a GPS unit to it, yeah. but that's the uh, simplest form of doing it. Perfect. And I might give one quick run through here then on the different meeting rollers. So. This machine. is for a Turbojet 8 setup, but it displays the four main configurations we have for uh, rollers. So this will be what we call our small seed or precision seed block. And within this, the holes in the bottom aren't in the middle, they're at the back. So very fine products like Clover will not leak through. The, ro the feed block has to rotate for it to meter. Within the feed block, this is set up with one yellow segment per outlet, but each of these black spacers can be substituted for uh, another feed segment so you could have one yellow or a white or two white or one yellow and two white it gives a huge range of flexibility then we move to <coughs> what we call our full large seed or grass seed segment so this would be for full rate half rate uh, grass seed for 25 to 50 kilos a hectare but also within the kit for the grass seed you also have the ability to half rate it which would be this, which is what we call the half grass kit. Still, still utilising all eight outlets, one segment straddles two outlets. So for each revolution of the feed block, we're putting half as much product on. That is the standard setup for much of the cover crops. And then we have the granular feed block, which is uh, predominantly used here in England for the application of Avidex, granular herbicide, but it will apply some of the small fertilisers. Uh, it's just another option within the feed block range. Very good. So it's safe to say if, if a customer purchased a machine with the likes of our large seed feed block, they can buy the, yes. the add-ins and they can change the feed block. Yeah, themselves. each feed block can accommodate every, every feed setup. The main reason for the precision seed block was for very, very small seeds like yeah. uh, clover. Um, but each very of these good. can all fit in each other's feed block. So here, Tim, we have the new Rotojet 4 machine, which has yep. reached so, the market. Yes, it has. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's gone into full production now. So the Rotojet 4 um, has a four outlet, like the name suggests, option of uh, 240 or 130 litre hoppers, um, designed to be a competitive machine in the sort of uh, two to four metre market. Um, for a three metre machine, you don't need any Y pieces on it, four outlets, 75 centimetres apart. Yep. And so this is the 240 litre square hopper, or you have the slightly smaller 130 litre hopper or you can use the wide pieces and it will work up to four meter working width. And this machine is available in the Jackal or the Icon configuration. Perfect. So this is the MaxiJet, which is currently the flagship uh, applicator within the stocks range. 
Um, it was created for a demand for um, either extremely high application rates at conventional working widths or uh, at extreme working widths up to 12 to 15 metres. Uh, hydraulic fan um, comes standard with the Icon system and with a 400 litre hopper. And then the configuration of the outlets is you can buy it in either a two outlet system or a four outlet system as we see here. But within the four outlets, with the riser pipes, you have the option of a 6, an 8, 10, 12 or even a 16 outlet head. So it has the option of anywhere from 12 outlets to 64 outlets on the machine. The, uh, eight, the six outlet hose is um, 32 mil and everything above that moves to a 25 mil. So Perfect. we've had uh, interest in this for high outputs for grass on sort of six meter machines or for cover crops up to 15 meters. Perfect. That's great. So this actually has the maxi jet, does actually have a high capacity feed block in it. So other than the uh, standard 50 mil feed block, this has a 59 mil feed block and the, a larger six vein segment. And it has 12 segments in it rather than the 10 of the Turbojet 10. So this is capable of much higher application rates and it feeds in either fours or halves depending on the yeah. configuration of the machine. Is that aluminium or is the... Yep, yeah, so it has the spaces in it because of the six vein segments. Potentially you could get leak across yeah. the segments. So we put the, the spaces in it to keep it, Perfect. keep the product all in there. That's great.